If you've been using TaskMagic for a while, you might wonder how to update a Google Sheet after scraping new information or downloading files. In this video, I'll show you how to do it. First, ensure you have the, a Google Sheet with some information that needs updating. For this example, I've scraped some product data from AppSumo. Later, I'll use this data to create posts promoting the product. The Google Sheets need at least one column that matches the existing information with the new information you want to update. In this case, I need two columns, one for the link to the product and one for the name of the product on AppSumo. I set this up earlier when I scraped AppSumo products. I want to add screenshot and also add some text from the page to tweak it with ChatGPT to create new post content. Let's start by opening TaskMagic and creating a new automation. Give your task a name and set it up. You don't need to log in to any website since you're just scraping information. Next, create a trigger by clicking on it. Add your Google Sheet that you gave permission to TaskMagic email. Find the correct sheet from the list if you have more than one and click looks good. Go back to the automation and click add step. You'll see the recording window and Chromium. In the URL box, enter the first link from your Google Sheets. You'll update this link later to variable, but you need something to record for now. On the page, click scrape single and then select the text you want to scrape. For example, select this text and confirm. If you want to take screenshots of the page, click on screenshots and edit the path to your computer folder. Open your folder, copy the path and paste it here. On the next line, you can add the name of the product from your Google Sheets. Or if you've already scraped it, use that step. This helps keep things organized on your computer. If you want more screenshots from the rest of the page, add a scroll down step and set it for two seconds to scroll a bit. Then add another screenshot step. You can add a number before or after the product name to get several screenshots with the same name in the same folder. If you need to scrape other information from the page, do that now and click I'm done. To add this information to an existing Google Sheets, you need two more steps. Click add step, but this time choose apps instead of web. Find Google Sheets in the list and select find row. If it's your first time connecting to your Google Sheets, click connect new account. Choose the right Google account and give TaskMagic permission to connect. Once connected, TaskMagic will search your Google Sheets and show show a list of them. Select the sheet you want to update, pick the correct sheet and choose the column to search by, which should be in this example by the product name. You can click on exact match to find the correct row in Google Sheets. Next, set up the information you're looking for in the sheet. For this example, get the name of the product from the Google Sheets. We'll change this letter to variable after the automation finds the right row. Add the first row you want the automation to find. I put two because this is the first row with content. Then click test app. You'll get some code. No need to understand it. Just click OK and save the step. Before moving to the next step, make sure you have added more columns titles if you plan to update new columns. If you are updating existing ones, you don't need to do this. Just go to Google Sheets and add the new columns titles in the same Google Sheet you want to update. In this example, I scraped two text and two screenshots, so I added four columns. You don't need to match the order of the scraping information. You can add columns at the beginning or in the middle of the table as needed. Add another step for Google Sheets by clicking Add Step, then Apps and selecting Google Sheets. This time, choose Update Row. Since you already connected your account, you don't need to reconnect. Just use the same Google Sheets account. Select the Google Google Sheet, make sure it's the same one from the previous step. For the row number, click on the drop down and find the previous Google Sheets step. Look for the row number that matches the name you entered earlier. Click on does the first row have a header? If you have a header, you should have. You'll see a list of other columns in the Google Sheets. Choose the one you want to update and click on the drop down to update the steps. If you want to add more information, you can do it with 
another step. You can only fit one step in a row. Click on test app. It will write the step in Google Sheets. Check that it updates the correct column and cell in the row you find earlier in the, in the column you chose. You don't need to delete it. It will be updated automatically when you run the automation. After finishing the step, go back to the find row step in Google Sheets and update the search to look for the right column. Here's how it's work. When you set the loop to list, the Google Sheets doesn't need to have in identical column names. You just need one column where the cell has same information match the new data you want to update. When you add the find row step, it will search for the matching name from the trigger sheets in the sheets you're updating. However, you can set the column variable from the trigger sheet to find the row before setting up the next step to update the Google Sheets. It needs to find something in the existing sheets fields so it can generate the correct reference. This way, the process will be dynamic and adjust automatically. It's important to note that the rows don't need to be in the same order because automation is matching the names between the trigger and update sheets. You can use the same Google Sheets for both trigger and update or use different ones, as long as the key information is the same in both. For another example, if you want to update information where some of the rows already exist in the Google Sheets and some are new, you can set up the find row step first. After that, add a filter step, set the filter so that the row is empty, it skips to a different step where you create a new row instead of updating an existing one. After completing this, return to the first step where you open the URL and update it with the variable from the Google Sheets. This will allow it to adjust the new row and product each time it runs. Fill in the full line of the loop so it will run through the entire list. Click play steps to run the automation to test it. If you encounter any issues, consider adding delays, and this can often resolve problems. Make sure your screenshots have the correct path to your computer and the text should match what you scraped. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to learn more about how to use TaskMagic, you can watch this video next.